Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Esmeralda. So for today, I wanted to show you how to make a sigil um, or sigils depending how many, how many you're going to make. So here I'm going to have um, this. I want my sigil to basically, the intention is I am happy, okay? So you want to write an affirmation in the present tense. And basically what a sigil is, you know, it's a symbol. So it's going to end up looking like this. But it's a symbol and basically it holds a vibration of whatever your intention is, okay? And this you can use it like if you're, um, uh, if you do candle work or just in general, you know, if you want to have it in your space, if you want to carry it with you, you know, uh, whatever affirmation you want to do, make sure it's in the present tense, okay? So you want to cross out all vowels and repeated letters, okay? So we're going to cross them out. So I, A, A, and then because we have two P's here, we're going to cross these out. So you're left with M, H, Y. Okay, so now here you want to assign a number to each letter, okay? So it doesn't really matter how many numbers you have here. I wouldn't recommend going over 10 to be honest, but you know, it's purple, um, personal preference. So here I have it till 8 and then you write down the alphabet, okay? So now we go here to assign the, the numbers, okay? So for M is 5. And then for H is 8. And then for Y is 1. Okay. So now we have 5, 8, 1. What you're going to do with this is you're going to do a little circle here. Like with the numbers. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It doesn't really matter what order. I just kind of like them spread. Um... But yeah, you can go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You know, it doesn't really matter. So this is how I have mine. Now, we're going to go to the 5. We're going to do a little dot here. We're going to go to the 8. And then you got to make sure you know which step you're going to take next. So depending, um, you know, if you do something like this or not. So we do the 5, the 8, and then the 1. So this is our sigil here, okay? This is our sigil. Um, what you want to do with this is you want to put it down on a piece of paper, and first you want to um, you want to make two of these, or depending how many you're going to use. But um, usually I make two like this, um, except one I completely burn it, and that just puts the um, you know it acts activates it. So you want to hold the paper and say your affirmation and then you want to completely burn it but another thing that i also do this is personal as well um i put the you know whatever it equals down to i put it in the back so you want to just have a one number um one number left okay so Yeah, it's five, you know? So basically, it's a vibration of five. The reason I do this is because, um, you know, just the number that it equals down to. Yes, baby? The number that it equals down to is, um, you know, I feel like it's very powerful with um, this. So five for me is about change and all that. So I see it as a good number anyway. So here for the I am happy. So like I said, you want to make two of these. And one you want to completely burn, um, and this will activate it besides your intention, um, your intentional, you know, breath blowing into it, the affirmation. And then this other one, um, you can just use it for like if you do magic, uh, magic work, like um, candle work, or, um, you know, just having it in your space, carrying it with you, um, painting it, just, you know, wherever wherever you want to have it in your altar, wherever. So, um, yeah, I hope you like this video and this is, this is how it ends up looking. Okay. And yeah, I hope you like it. And if you did, let me know down below. Don't mind my nails. <laughs>